Hey guys, I'm the Chris Dane, and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. And by different, I mean that I'm using a different type of weapon that I'm usually using. And yes, it's the M16A4. And the reason why it's different from what I'm usually using, it's because that it's a burst fire weapon. I usually never use these. And the reason for that is that I actually never really felt that they were that great in Battlefield 4 and I didn't really think it in Battlefield 3 as well. But back in Bad Company 2 I actually used quite a lot of the burst fire weapons and it was more or less for trolling snipers because for some reason I was able to get long range headshot kills with a burst fire weapon and I used it to troll snipers. So yeah, I haven't really used burst fire weapons a lot in Battlefield 3 or 4, but ever since I started using a lot of DMR in the latest patch, I thought I'd give the burst fire weapons a try, because I haven't really seen anyone using either the M16A4 or the M4 carbine. So I wanted it to give it a go, and I've gotta admit, the M16A4 is actually quite good. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. I treat it kind of like a hybrid DMR and fully automatic rifle. And while doing so, I'm actually doing quite well. If I shoot for the chest, upper chest, I usually kill the enemies before they kill me, even though they have got a rifle that will more or less have more RPM than mine. So a lot of these firefights, I'm actually the one who's the winner. And I don't know why that is or why the burst fire weapon, at least while I'm using it, seems quite overpowered because if you tap fire and you shoot one in the chest, well, aim at the chest and fire once, that's three bullets into the chest if they all hit. So you only have to burst twice and essentially if you're on target with both of your bursts, well, then you've got a kill. And that, of course, is dependent on the range and whether or not you gain one or two or even three headshots with the burst. I'm not quite sure if you can get a one burst headshot if all of the three shots hit in the head. But my tactic for this while using the angled foregrip and the muscle brake for better control of the recoil, I am more or less just aiming in the upper chest and hopefully either you kill them by shooting them in the chest or you manage to get some headshots in there and you kill them that way. But this is just an awesome weapon. I win firefights against DMR users at range because I tap fire just as they do and my accuracy is just about as good as theirs. But I'm actually doing better in close quarters and I can even pull off a firefight between me and one with a fully automatic weapon. So for some reason I'm just really enjoying this kind of weapon. Because in Battlefield 3 and recently in Battlefield 4 I've played quite a lot with DMR. And with a burst fire weapon and treating it like a DMR, you're actually doing quite well or you're going to do quite well. And I must say for hitting moving targets I really love this weapon. Because one of your three bullets are going to hit almost no matter what. So it's kind of a great fail safe compared to if you're using a DMR or sometimes even a fully automatic weapon. Sometimes you may have an advantage using a burst fire weapon. But for some reason there's not that many burst fire weapons. The one most commonly used is probably the pistol, the 93R I think it's called. But that's essentially a burst fire weapon and in close quarters it's actually quite powerful. So over the past few days I've actually used this weapon quite a lot and once you get used to using a burst fire weapon while still treating it like a DMR you are actually going to be amazed. This is just so accurate and well it's more or less just lasers. Even while you're moving you're actually going to be quite accurate with your bullets all hitting the targets and at range and well just overall this is just insanely precise but when it comes to hip fire this weapon is really not that great if you're in a situation where suddenly there's an enemy coming around the corner and you haven't really noticed him before and you're not ready 
and you're in the position to hip fire, you're more or less going to lose it because the bullets are going to be all over the place. Once you aim down sight, all of your bullets are going to be right on target, but if you're hip firing, you're going to have a bad time. But then again, there's not really any weapons besides the DMR and the sidearms that's precise in hip fire. You really have to consider that. Aim down sight as often as you can and you're gonna do okay. When it comes to reload speed with this weapon, you're, as usual, better off when you're using the short reload. But it's not that big of a difference between the short and the long reload. The short reload is 1.8 seconds and the long reload is 2.37 seconds. So it's a really good close quarter weapon and I've used it at close, medium and long range encounters and to me this is just a basic good all around weapon. Burst fire, so you're tapping and you're on target like a DMR and you're doing quite a lot of damage and in close quarters you can do some quick tapping and you'll still come out of the fight unharmed. And that's about it for this time guys. I've had a lot of fun with this weapon and I really recommend you to check this gun out and try and use it. We'll have to spend some time getting used to it but once you get used to it I can guarantee that you're going to do well with it. And I really want to know do you use burst fire weapons because I haven't really seen anyone else but me using this rifle and do you like how it works, how do you use it, at what kind of encounters do you use it, what's your setup for this gun, do you run some sort of different attachments than I've done in this video with the mushroom brake and angled foregrip, if so let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. Mm -hmm.